What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. We're doing a little exploring again today like we did a few videos back where we explored at an abandoned park with the hopes of doing maybe some day camping. This used to be Chutes Branch Campgrounds. It used to be a uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers campground. When they did the big budget cuts many years ago, some of you may remember, they cut, cut this one. Anyway, where that we are at, right up there, is National Weather Service. And that little, uh, right there, that's the radar. Uh, we did a video there with the Girl Scouts several years ago, or a couple years ago. So right now we're going to walk over here in the park. We're going to roll that little intro, and I'll be back with you in a minute. Well, at least they got uh, trash cans here for you to throw your garbage. This used to be a campgrounds. RV hookups, the whole nine yards. I'm not far enough away. I'll make sure I lock my truck. I did. <clears throat> um, so like I said, when the budget cuts hit with uh, back in the day, uh, some of you may remember that. I remember when it happened. This is one of the ones that got axed. As far as what I got on me today, I've got my Red River Day Sling Pack, and attached to that is my Hemlock Mountain Dragon Snare Water Bottle Carrier. I'll just drop that in right here so you can see that. Thanks to Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. Oh, that, that's work. Uh, as you see, that used to be camp. Uh, it was marked as C. Um, so anyway, um, I won that off of Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. Um, his uh, contest on Instagram. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about running a contest on Instagram myself here pretty soon. Um, but what I was going to say, let's get back on topic. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Kurt, for the giveaway on Instagram and. That's a pretty cool product. I'd never heard of that Dyneema cord until I got to looking it up. And I mean, it's pretty good, pretty cool stuff. Um, so anyway, yeah, this used to be your typical RV style campground run by um, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, which I think they have, I know here in Tennessee they quit doing them all. Um, well, in middle Tennessee anyway. The last place we went to to look at doing day camps was another one of these that had been axed and you can see right there that's your pull-in for your uh, there's another one for your RVs and campers now, I didn't start a track on this but pretty simple I hear the road to the left. That's not that's Saundersville Road. Now, this thing is not totally abandoned. We don't camp here anymore, but they do mountain bike. A um, handful of years ago, Eagle Scout came through and made mountain bike trails all over this place i forgot how many miles there is my son actually was in the scout troop that, that happened and he helped do the markers i'll show you a marker here in a minute but white lines are crossings for the mountain bikers so people that are walking through the park know that's what that's for all right I'm gonna walk a little bit and we'll be back. As I was saying, this is a mountain bike trail now. That's what that M post is for. You'll see another M post right there. Uh, my son helped on the Eagle Project put those posts in. 
So, like I said, you can pick up a map down there when you first pull in the park. And it shows you where all the trails are. And we're obviously standing in the middle of a trail for the mountain bikers. Um, I want to show you this. Drop a picture in right now. But one of the old picnic tables that's still here. And get over here a little bit. You see the grill. The, the uh, fire pit charcoal grill thing combo. There's the old picnic table. Concrete picnic table still here. It's crazy. Mother Nature taking her time reclaiming that. There's another one right there. <laughs> so anyway, um, so much for now. Most, uh, I'm back. I gotta change something I'm carrying here. Okay. A couple of years ago, we, uh, we actually did a, uh, um, geocache here. Um, me and Hannah and Chase it was a couple years ago. It's been at least oh, five or six years ago at least. I don't remember exactly where it was. It went, I mean, it was in the stretch back here. I didn't know that. It would be neat if I could find something somewhere to do a day camp and I'd have to you know, can hang out and whatever. Not even wearing hacking boots today. I am wearing shorts. Ah, oh, check it out. <laughs> it's crazy. You can see the right there. There's the big dome big ball of radar all right there's another campsite back here all the concrete picnic tables are still here i just find it crazy all right i'll be back in a minute Look at this. I've actually put a bench up. This is on the bike trail. Now, I've heard some people use this for hiking too, but you get a biker coming through here full speed, yeah, it could be kind of dangerous. Well, I like the bench, it's pretty cool. All right, back a little bit. Okay, here's another one of the bathhouses, bathrooms. That was abandoned. The park closed. Back up the road. This is a big place. And I'm, I bypassed the front half and um, there's an offshoot to the right. I bypassed that came to this I've been around it once but it's been a while um, 
what I do find kind of interesting the remember the last one is that the trash can things were still there and uh, some of the markers were still there for the campsites these are long gone well back in here this is a pretty good size this has been for a long camper um, I don't see the pic no the picnic tables back over there so yeah, it's still here they didn't get them big suckers out of here all concrete that may have been a circle through site although I don't see the well, maybe not it's sad that these places are just you know there's just another area to camp in but it is what it is Another campsite. A picnic table right there. I would say that's for that campsite. Here's this major junction though. Lines going across it. Bike trail. The only person I've seen in here is a person walking a dog, so. Like I said, there's maps up there that you can pick up. That's Trail Zero or O. And we did, like I said, the scouts did the trail markers originally. I don't know who's doing them now. But it's pretty cool. At least it's being used for something. It's not just sitting here. Unlike that one I went to that was kind of dormant, but they said they hunt on it, which is not good. <laughs> But the guy told me, he said, you're probably okay cruising around it. But you might want to wear something orange during hunting season. They might mistake you for a deer. You'll be getting a big deer. All right, we're back a little bit. All right, guys, we're going to close up the video here. Uh, thanks once again uh, for stopping in. Remember to check out the links below. I'm sure I showed you something in the beginning saying look at the links below. Um, we did not go up that way and we didn't hit that section. Uh, me and Chase actually hiked that section a long time ago on the channel. I may, I'll link that in here too. Um, but this is like three minutes from the house. I wish I could use it for more stuff, but I can only use it for what I can use it for at the time. Uh, once again, thanks to Kurt from Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. I will link his YouTube channel and his website down below. Go buy you a hammock. He's got some nice looking hammocks and got a good prices on them too. Um, what else? I guess that's it for now. Um, we'll be doing another getting outside and hopefully camping here soon um would have camped this weekend but i'm gonna be honest with you if my yard's any indication of what the campgrounds would be it'd be a miserable mess so with that said be prepared <laughs>